Hi guys, welcome to Fluency Day One for our story, Tripping Over the Lunch Lady, uh, which is a fabulously funny story. I can't wait to you get to read it with us. Uh, so this is for those folks for Fluency Day One. I'm Miss Hudson. Uh, and yes, indeed, there is tripping and there are lunch ladies in our story this week. So the title is appropriate. Our first word, if you are a smart fella or young lady, uh, you will be recording these words and their definitions, uh, or maybe even just a small picture to help remind you of the definition for our test later on this week. Uh, so I can get you to pause the video right here and find yourself that sheet of paper and pencil, uh, because those smart folks who take notes are the ones that tend to do well over and over again. And you'll find that for the rest of your life in education. That's the best policy going forward, okay? Um, to confront is our first word, confront. To challenge or meet someone head on. Uh, if you confront somebody, you are expressing your point of view that might differ from their point of view, right? Uh, my sentence is, I decided to confront my sister about wearing my clothes. If you have a brother and sister, you have might have confronted them often uh, about things that you disagreed on. My next word is predicament. A predicament is a dangerous, challenging, or unpleasant situation. Uh, our predicament was made worse when it started to rain. Uh, if you were... Uh, somewhere up high uh, and you don't like the uh, uh, idea of falling or you don't like high places, you would be in a predicament. Uh, that's just another way to say dangerous, challenging, or unpleasant situation. My next word is ingenious. Somebody who is ingenious is clever at making or doing things. Uh, my sentence is, her idea to solve the Zoom glitch was ingenious. Definitely working with Zoom here recently. I need all the help I can get uh, from my students smart enough to help me solve some glitches. And I think that's ingenious when you help me out. Oops, sorry folks. Triumphant is my next word, triumphant. If you are triumphant, then you are victorious or successful. My sentence is, he was triumphant when he saw all the good grades on his report card. Uh, so triumphant uh, is victorious or successful. I can think of several times when I have felt triumphant and several times when I have not tri felt triumphant. Uh, so victorious or successful. And you see that the picture with the hands in the air, that's almost a universal sign for being triumphant. So the winner, that's right, triumphant. And my last word today is application to put on or use as intended. Uh, application is a multi-meaning word, but this week when we talk about application, we are meaning to put on or use as intended. My sentence is her extra application of sunscreen, sunscreen prevented her from getting a bad sunburn. All right, if you uh, missed any of the words, feel free to double back. Uh, my videos are not real long and write them down. Uh, you can pause in between words uh, and get it, but just make yourself, uh, give yourself the best possible uh, chance for doing very well on your quiz this week. All right, guys, I will see you on the flip side, okay? We do the next five words tomorrow, so don't lose that notes. Keep them close by. All right. Bye, friends.